Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my recent pickups. It's been quite a while since I've done one, and oh boy, I have a lot of shit to show you guys. Alright, so I have two Funkos, an art book, a Mega Constructs figure. Um, they're like Legos almost, but they're more posable than Legos. Um, some DVDs, a bunch of games, and not one, not two, not three. Actually, it's three replicas, and I'm going to show at the very end. So, yeah. Let's get the Mega Constructs figure out the way. This was sent to me by my brother. He sent me like a little gamer care package. He sent me like three memory cards for the PlayStation, this figure, four games, and an art book. Well, the art book. But yeah, pretty cool. He has a shield, the Leviathan Axe, and he looks like he's seen some serious shit. Well, I mean, Kratos has. I mean, hell, he caused a lot of it anyways. Um, next is the art book. So it is the art of Mortal Kombat. Take this out. It sucks having to do a lot of these things with one hand, but got to do what you got to do. But yeah, there it is. Really, really nice cover. Um, and this is just to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, yeah, Pretty cool. I haven't read it yet because there are some like notes from the designers and developers and stuff. So really, really looking forward to reading that. Um, and now for the Funkos. I was going to show the boxes, but I don't think you guys want to sit there and watch me struggle for like five minutes for each box. So I just took them out because, you know, that's not fun having to do it with one hand, putting them back in. And it is Punisher War Machine. Really, really, really cool. Um, he was the Funko that I got for my birthday. Yeah, only one that really caught my attention. And then I saw the ones from the Warriors and I was so close to buying them, but I said no. Nah. Punisher War Machine's enough. And this is Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. Very basic design for him, but it's a classic, so I love it. Uh, ready. Now for the DVDs. So first we have Ang Bak, The Thai Warrior. Really, really, really good movie. I've only watched it once, and I still haven't watched it, even though I own the DVD now, which I am I really need to watch it again. But yeah, it's a really, really good movie from what I remember. Uh, the Magnificent Seven. Really good. Another really good one. Uh, my mom told me that my grandfather watched the original version like so many years ago. Didn't even know that this was a remake. Um, so now I'm on the lookout for the original version of this movie. Unforgiven. I haven't seen this yet, so. But I mean, it's a Clint Eastwood movie. You know, damn well it's more than likely going to be really good. But yeah. Uh, True Grit. I've seen it once. Didn't have too much memory of the movie, so I watched it again. And it's pretty good. It's not bad. Oh. Lawrence of Arabia. Um, never seen this one before. I mean, it won seven Academy Awards, so I'm pretty sure this movie's going to be really good. And while I was reading the back and looking at the images from the movie, I got serious Indiana Jones vibes. I don't know why, but I did. But, um, yeah. Looking forward to watching that. The Vikings. Now, crazy thing is my mom mentioned to me that there was a movie called Vikings that my grandfather watched a lot, and she, she knew that I would more than likely really like it. And my sister made me like a birthday dinner and a little cake, and I was there hanging out with her for a little bit, and I brought the movie up, and I asked her if there was a movie that my grandfather watched called Vikings, if she remembered. She said it sounded familiar, but she wasn't sure. And when I mentioned Kirk Douglas being in the film, she said that that was the exact movie that my grandfather watched all those years ago. So it was really, really cool that I just so happened to find this movie. And I did watch it. And it's really good. It came out in 1958, I think. Right? Yeah, 1958. Really old film. But it's really good. The Protector. Um, this is a really good movie. I've seen the theatrical version. Didn't know that there was an uncut one. Or the, an uncut version of the film. So, yeah. I'm definitely going to be watching that. Um, so yeah, really, really good movie. Shooter. i seen this movie in theaters, like, years ago. Um, but this one's not bad. It's pretty good. I think they made a sequel, and I think this was turned into a show. But, I, I don't know, it could be completely wrong. But yeah, this is a really good movie. Um, the Scorpion King 2, Rise of a Warrior. I've seen this once, and I really didn't like it a whole lot. I thought it was okay. Um, maybe now, 
after not seeing it for so long, maybe my opinion will change and I might find enjoyment out of it. But most of the time, these straight-to-DVD movies aren't really, really all that great. But I decided to give it a chance. Why not? It was only a dollar. Uh, the Scorpion King 3, Battle for Redemption. Um, never seen this one, so this one's completely new to me. So you have Ron Perlman, uh, Billy Zane, Dave Bautista, Kimbo Slice, and Victor Webster, who I'm sure is Matthias in this movie. But never seen it, and I'm looking forward to watching this, for sure. Next is Assassins. Um, big fan of both you know, Stallone and, and Banderas. Um, I somewhat grew up with Antonio, you know, because of Spy Kids and everything. But I've seen um, I've seen Desperado, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, Interview with the Vampire. Uh, those are really, really great movies. Um, like, the Spy Kids were cool when I was a kid, but now they're, eh. Um, anyways, Stallone, I've seen Tango and Cash, Demolition Man, the Rocky movies, um, Rambo. Uh, there was another movie of his that I watched where he was, like, a young Stallone, but I don't remember what it was called. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll remember once I'm done with this video. But, uh, yeah, really looking forward to watching this. Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. My mom had a version like this, but the disc for Bad Boys 2 was actually the special features, so they gave her the wrong DVD, which really, really sucked because I really wanted to watch the sequel. I've never watched these before. Um, I Technically, I've watched the first one already, but the second one, never seen. So, yeah, I know. It's blasphemy that I haven't watched Bad Boys. Um, I did see one Bad Boys movie, but it's not that one. It's the one with Sean Penn, and it's like a really young Sean, young Sean Penn. And if you've never seen it before, I suggest you guys look it up and watch it because it's pretty good. Uh, and lastly for the DVDs is Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1, Volume 1. Big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! I suck so much at the card game. Uh, that was really because I didn't have people to play the game with. But yeah, I watched, I think, about 10, 10 or so episodes of the original show. Never watched the entire season, though. Um, but this one has for the first 24 episodes. Three of them that were on here I've seen already. Um, but still, still a joy to watch. All right. So now are the games. So first we have... Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Um, I had this before, but the game just magically vanished. Don't know where the hell it went. Um, and the original copy that I had, I beat it and got the alternate version. Or not the alternate version, um, the alternate ending, I'm sorry, of the, of the game. And it was really fun. I honestly prefer Chamber of Secrets, though. Uh, next is Sega Smash Pack. Now this one is a compilation that consists of three Genesis games, which are Golden Axe, uh, Sonic Spinball, and Echo the Dolphin. So yeah, really, really cool. Uh, next is Clay Fighter, which this was one of the games that my brother sent me. Um, I vaguely remember playing this, but not a whole lot. And go figure, it's another fighting game to add to my Super Nintendo collection, which the first four Super Nintendo games that I got were nothing but fighting games. Um, next is Super Mario World. I was really surprised that he actually sent me this. Because um, he was selling these. And I'm really surprised that nobody bought this from him. Um, but yeah. When I got the game, it didn't work. But I did have some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. And I lightly cleaned the, um, the the circuit board. And works perfectly fine now. So I don't know if that's a, the proper way to use it. And I, I really hope that that doesn't mess the game up in the long run. But... That's what I did. Um, next is Tomb Raider. I've beaten Tomb Raider Anniversary, which is basically a remake of this. Um, but I wanted to play the original version. And it's pretty fun so far. I've, I've died quite a lot, though. But it's, it's still really fun. Yeah, there it is. Next is Tomb Raider 2. Now, I have some history with this game, and it's not good history. When I was younger, my brother had it, and I used to play it a lot. But I died repeatedly over and over and over at the very, very beginning of this game. And I kind of gave up on Tomb Raider after that. 
it wasn't until the 2013 reboot that I actually started playing them again. Um, I beat I beat the 2013 reboot. I got Anniversary, and then I decided to buy all the others. Um, except for the last two Tomb Raider games that they came out with, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I don't have those yet, but I will be getting them. Um, and Angel of Darkness is not one that I'm going to buy because I heard it was really, really bad. Um, and I've seen videos, and I, I basically I saw enough to know that I'm not going to buy it. So, but yeah. Hopefully now that I'm older and more competent enough to play this game, I won't die as much playing this again. But yeah. Next is Tomb Raider 3. This comes with the demo for Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. And yeah, pretty cool. Um, I don't think we've ever had this one, but I could be completely wrong. Um... I don't remember it at all. When I when I started playing this, I don't remember it. Um, but yeah. Uh, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. This was brand new, still sealed for like 12 bucks, which was insane. Um, yeah. Um, thanks to my brother sending me three PlayStation memory cards, I now can save this game and not worry about playing through it and not being able to save it. So yeah, really cool. Next is Tomb Raider Chronicles. Uh, this is the fifth and last Tomb Raider game to come off of the PlayStation. Um, and I did hear that this one kind of commercially bombed, but, eh, I mean, it plays like the others, so I don't think it'll be that bad. Hopefully it won't be. But, there we go. Oh. But yeah. Pretty cool. I was really surprised that I found all of these for relatively cheap. Um, next are two PlayStation 4 games that I got. Um, might as well show this first. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall. I have Killzone 1 through 3 and Liberation for PSP. So this is the first time I ever got this one. Or ever played it. Uh, only paid five bucks for it, which is not bad at all. But yeah, pretty cool. Next is... Grab it. Here we go. All right. Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Now, this gives you all of the DLC. Well, except for some that you actually have to pay for, which I think is really shit. But 24 fighters, 23 stages, over 200 costumes, and more. But yeah. Um, if you're debating on getting Street Fighter V, just get this one because they give you damn near everything. But yeah, pretty cool. Next is Thief. Um, now I've I've seen Thief, but I never bothered looking the game up. It wasn't until I watched a video from a YouTube channel called Gamers, and they have this series called The Rise and Fall, and they talk about games that were very popular in their heyday. And as as, as time went on, some of the games were, were kind of like subpar or very mediocre or average, until the series just kind of died out. They've done, they've done a video for SOCOM, Silent Hill, um, Thief, Prince of Persia, Command and Conquer, Dead Space, Dead Rising, um, and like a bunch of others. But after watching the video for Thief, I decided to give this game a shot, and it's not bad. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it really didn't come with much. Just came with a uh, yeah, uh, little sheet for the art book for Thief. Next is Rise of the Argonauts. I think this has ties with Jason and the Argonauts. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure it does, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's a pretty decent game so far. Um, it's very violent. You get to, like, slice people's heads off, bash their, bash their brains out with, with a mace, uh, slice them in half. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Sniper Elite 3, first time ever playing, first time playing a Sniper Elite game, and it's actually really fun. But yeah, pretty cool. 
Next is Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, which comes with, this is basically like the definitive edition to get. Uh, so you have the base game, Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escape, Four New Costumes, The Mercenaries Reunion, Versus, and extra figures to unlock and look at, which is pretty cool. There we go, okay. But yeah, this was another game that my brother sent me, which is pretty cool. And I had the standard version of the game, but I always wanted to upgrade to this, so really glad that he bought it for me. Really, really cool. Um, next is Asura's Wrath. Um, I heard this game was really good, but one thing that I heard that I didn't like was the true ending for this game is behind a paywall, and I do not like that. Like, they should have given us the actual ending for free. It should not have been DLC. Um, so yeah, that, that's really, that was really scummy on Capcom's part, honestly. Um, but I heard the game was really good, and I did play a good amount, uh, a decent amount. I, I played, like, literally the very beginning, and I liked it a lot. So, I can only imagine how crazy this game gets. But yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. And now for PlayStation 2, because, oh my god, I got a lot of games for PS2. Alright, so first we have Arcana Heart. Arcana Heart? Is it Arcana or Arcana? I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, anyways, Arcana Heart is an all-female fighting game. I heard about it, and it sounded really interesting. So... I mean, the only other game that I can think of that had an all-female roster was Skullgirls. But didn't didn't Skullgirls have a male character? I don't remember. I've never played it before. But I heard Skullgirls is a very, very, very good fighting game. Um, I managed to find this at the exchange for like 20 bucks, And that's considered pretty cheap for this game because other people sell it for like 40 or 50 or 60 Like some people go up with these crazy prices. And now with you know, the whole pandemic going on, everybody wants to be greedy and sell games for a lot higher than what they're actually worth, you know, so, I mean, I saw somebody on eBay selling a copy of Tekken 6, Tekken 4, I'm sorry, for $64, and that game is nowhere near 60 bucks, it's literally worth like 10, and like, that just shows you how, like, how greedy people are, it's insane, it's insane, but, I managed to get this for 20 and I'm extremely happy. But yeah, it was a game that I was looking for for quite some time, and me being a fighting game fan, I was definitely going to pick this up regardless. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, next is Extermination. I heard this game was like Resident Evil. I haven't played it yet, which, oh my god, I don't know why. don't know why I haven't, been, haven't played it yet, but I haven't. But um, yeah. It's, uh, like I said, I, I'm, I heard it was really good. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. And I think, I'm not sure, I think someone said that some of the people who worked on Resident Evil worked on this as well. Um, but I could be wrong, so please let me know if I'm wrong on that. Um, gotta move these games because I did buy another one. Um, that's like all the way on, almost on the bottom shelf. Um, Next, I rebought Final Fantasy XII Collector's Edition because my original copy, which is which was this one, as you can see, it's pretty banged up. It doesn't really look all that great. And the back is just worse. I don't know if it'll come up, but there's a lot of spots, and it looks really, really nasty. So I just replaced it with this one. And it even comes with the Collector's Edition disc this time around, so... I basically just upgraded to a nicer copy. But, yeah. Even though I had the game already, still. Decided to show it, because it is technically new-ish in my collection. Um, the next one is a game that was the only game... This was the only game in my PS2 collection that was not complete. I looked for replacement cases with the bonus disc included, but I did not find one. So, I had to resort to buying the game again, which... It didn't bother me, but I was looking for, like, replacement cases first before I had to, like, resort to that. And it is Guilty Gear Double X Accent and Core Plus. Now, the original copy I had, I sent to a friend because he said he never played Guilty Gear before. And I figured, you know, why not, you know, send him Guilty Gear and let him play his first Guilty Gear game. But, yeah. Um, so... There's the game itself and the bonus disc. It's a soundtrack CD, 24 tracks long. 
Um, Guilty Gear's music is uh, it's awesome. I love it. Next is uh, Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. This was another game that my brother sent me. Um, yeah, I haven't played it yet, but I have Hitman Contracts and Hitman Blood Money and Absolution for PS3. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to playing this as well. Uh, next is Ico. Um, now, this one, I think... I've heard a lot of really good things about. Um, and I think the uh, Shadow of the Colossus and The Last Guardian share the same universe or something like that. I know Shadow of the Colossus does. Um, but I'm not sure about The Last Guardian. But yeah. Um, like I said, I heard it's a really, really good game. I haven't played it yet. Um, also, just give you guys a heads up. It is a blue disc. So if any of you who are watching this and have a PS2 that doesn't play blue discs, just letting you guys know. Uh, next is The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. I played the first level of this and it was really good. So I'm looking forward to playing this in its entirety. I still need to finish the two towers as well as, um, what was it? Uh, the Third Age, which is that turn-based RPG Lord of the Rings games, or Lord of the Rings game. And I'm going to suck so much at that. Um, uh, making sure that I haven't skipped over a game. Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, Metal Slug Anthology. This was the last SNK compilation that focuses on one certain game that I needed. I have Art of Fighting Anthology, Fatal Fury, uh, Battle Archives Volume 1 and 2, Samurai Shodan Anthology, World Heroes Anthology, and now this one. I beat them. I beat all seven games, like, in about a day of total playtime. It was about a day. And, um... Yeah, they're really, really fun. They're very, they're not crazy long, but oh my god, they're hectic as hell. And it's such a blast to play these games. And we, we got Metal Slug 6 for the first time um, in the US, because I don't think it was released here until this compilation came out, which is really awesome. Next is Puzzle Quest. Challenge of the Warlords. Never heard of this game before. And it's interesting because this is a puzzle game with heavy RPG elements. Um, like, it's like Bejeweled with Final Fantasy, basically. Well, RPG elements like Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, I never heard of this game before, so I decided to give it a shot, and it's actually not bad. But yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. Rampage World Tour, or I'm sorry, not World Tour, Jesus, Rampage Total Destruction, wow, I apologize, but yeah, Rampage Total Destruction, I got this for my 12th or 13th birthday years ago, uh, when I got this, I also got Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, I played Shaolin Monks more, but I did play this game here and there, and it was really, really fun, and that was the last time that I played it until I got it again, and yeah, so many memories playing this. Um, and what's really cool is they give you Rampage and Rampage World Tour along with this one. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool. But yeah, there it is. Next is Rygar, the legendary adventure. Uh, I have a friend who loves Rygar. She would always tell me it's really, really good. I should get it. And, I, and, you know, I would tell her that, yeah, I'll buy it eventually. Years later, I finally did get the game. And I messaged her and I was telling her, you remember, you know, telling me about Rygar like a whole lot. And I told her that I finally got it. And, yeah, we were just, you know, having conversation about it. And it's really good, actually. I really like this game. I don't know why it took me so long to get it, but that's that's my fault. And certain copies came with this. Just gotta grab it. It came with like this alternate cover of sorts. So it's like uh it's like one of those changeable or image changing things. You know the the ones that make the really weird noise like that? Yeah. Um Yeah, it's really cool. But um gonna try to put this back. 
There we go. But yeah, really, really great game. Uh, <laughs> this next game has kind of consumed consumed me right now. Uh, they did re-release this, or they remade it for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But I wanted to get the original version because that's the one that I played when I was a kid. And um, it is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Now, this is coming from a 26-year-old man. This game is the shit. This game is really good. Um, I really enjoyed this game a lot. Um, it's funny. It's it's and it's it's just an overall great game. Um, it can be pretty challenging too because there's some of those like puzzles that you have to do to get like golden spatulas. Oh my god, they are rage inducing, but they're fun. Like once you beat them, you're like, I'm not doing this again. Uh, next we have Tomb Raider Legend. Now, I recently beat this game. And I love it. It's really, really good. My only gripe is that, to me, it felt short. I don't know if other people felt that too, but for me, it felt really short. But it was still really fun. Yeah. Uh, next is Tomb Raider Underworld. Uh, I heard this was the worst version to play. Uh, and I found that out after I ordered the game. So, yeah. But it, regardless, I'm still going to play it. I was currently playing this, but then I bought Battle for Bikini Bottom and I said, Tomb Raider can wait. Um, I wanted to relive a lot of childhood memories playing Battle for Bikini Bottom. But this game is really good so far. Um, there was a theory that I had, and my theory was correct. I don't want anybody spoiling it in the comments because I don't want somebody who's never played the game to know what happens but when when i had the theory at the very beginning of playing this and it was true i was really surprised because it was the first time i ever had a theory that was correct very early on in a game but uh yeah and the last game is a pretty interesting one and it is the x files resist or serve um didn't know that they made an X-Files game. Hell, I didn't even know that they made one for the PlayStation. Um, but apparently they released one for the PlayStation, and they also made one for PS2. I don't know if it came out for other systems. But uh, I think this might have been only on PS2. I'm not sure. But they actually have the actors from the show. I've never seen the show. I'm lying. I've only seen, like, two episodes. But that's really it. And um, I watched gameplay for it. And it reminded me of Resident Evil, like fixed camera angles, you know, looked a lot like that. So I kind of was really interested and I decided to get it. Um, I haven't played it yet and I just got it today. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So definitely looking forward to giving this a shot. Alrighty, those are all the games. Jesus Christ, that took a long time. Um, all right, now I'm going to show you guys the replicas that I have. So this replica that I'm going to show you was my initial one that i was going to buy first but i saw two other ones that i bought instead and now i have it and hopefully i'm going to try to there you go it is this is what ebay says it says it says that it was a 18th century french dueling pistol um so i'm going off on what ebay said but as you can see it's really nice you got a little dragon right there some really nice engravings and on the opposite side, really nice. I like it. And then you have the butt cap, which was used as like a blunt object. Like when the when the guns were shot, they would use these as clubs to like literally beat people to death with it. The original pistol whip, if you will. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Next is I don't remember what the description said, but this was it said a blunderbuss flintlock pistol. Um, but as you can see, the barrel of it, it's very different. And you can see some really, really, really nice engravings on the, along the barrel here. You got a face on the trigger guard, I think that's what it's called. I'm not very, I'm not very familiar with guns. And the butt cap is a face with a chain link in its mouth. And interesting thing, this gun is used 
and the cover for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Kenway has two of them holstered, and I think he's holding one in his hand. Um, and I looked, and it's the same gun. So that's really, really cool. And lastly is a Pirate Blunderbuss Flintlock. Um, really cool. It's the same as the, you know, really, really nice. Nice detailing on the barrel. Skull and cross swords on the grip of the gun. But yeah, really awesome. My love for these Flintlock pistols, for those of you who don't know, um, started with Pirates of the Caribbean. After that, I I became obsessed with them. Um, it's crazy to it's crazy to think like years later I would have replicas. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much everything that I have gotten since my last pickups video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Have a good day. Most importantly, stay safe. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye bye.